In this video, we want to go into the scriptures to share with you a tool that we call the church circle. We want to know what are the healthy practices that we are to include when we come together in our home fellowship or small group. In the book of Acts chapter 2, from verse 36 and on, we read a set of answers that Peter gave the crowd and they're asking him, Peter, what shall we do now? He answers in 36, this Jesus whom you crucified, God has made him both Lord and Christ. In verse 38, Peter continues saying, Repent, each of you, and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. As we continue reading verse 42, they were continually devoting themselves to the apostles' teaching, that means reading the scriptures, and to fellowship, so they were loving one another. They were breaking the bread together, so the Lord's Supper, and dedicating themselves to prayer. In verse 43, everyone kept feeling a sense of awe, and many wonders and signs were taking place through the apostles. It means that they were making an impact that was reaching other people's lives and they were known by what God was doing through their hands. In verse 44, it says, And all those who had believed were together and had all things in common, and they began selling their property and possessions, and they were sharing them with all as any one might have needed. In verse 47 says that they were together praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord was adding to their number day by day those who were being saved, which means that God was using them to reach out to new people in other communities. In this very simple Bible study, we can learn these healthy practices that we can do when we come together with our brothers and sisters. And as you see in this drawing, the first line represents what people do in order to belong to Jesus Christ and be part of the fellowship. They surrender their lives to Jesus, they repent, they get baptized, and they receive the Holy Spirit. The second line represents what we do when we are together. We read the scriptures, we love one another, we have the Lord's Supper together, and we pray together. While the third line represents the things that we do when we are not meeting together as church, as home group, as fellowship. We are impacting our friends and relatives and oikos. We are using our finances to bless other people and share with them. We are praising God and we are celebrating with joy what God is giving us. And we are intentionally taking time to reach other people with the gospel. And all this you can find in the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 36 to 47.